It's a powerful statement, right? What is it? It's a bit of a confusing sculpture. It's not really. When you pay attention, a love is a powerful. Uh, love is a powerful force. It's there for everyone to embrace. But are we embracing? No. That kind of unconditional love for all of humankind, right? That is the kind of love that impels people to go into, or implies to go into, right? The community and try to change the condition of the other. Well, with the love, you can change the condition of the other, where their emotions become sweeter to risk for what they believe in. Is that a risk? The love has become a risk these days? It's an enormous risk because you truly don't know where you're gonna end up with a love so entangled in this way. This love is profoundly entangled in many different ways. And if you look at this couple, their sweetness, and emotions are what makes them come closer to. But their same emotions can turn bitter and they hate each other. How could that happen? That's natural, because human means that you're not in a constant state. Everything change. But have we accepted the change? If we accepted the change, the love will be profoundly stronger, more powerful, more deeply entangled in the humankind. Yet that love turning into bitter, that bitterness is what is causing a tremendous pain, suffering, the struggle, in that will it be will it will it allow them to be free will it be free through love or will it get uh, will it get emotionally entangled and then you can't unravel your web that you created around you, trapping the love. You cannot trap love. You can empower, embrace love in many different ways. How about you?